Today on Make a Ticket Outdoors, we're going to make a three-arm Alabama rig. Great for the state of Ohio because we can only have three hooks. Stay tuned. All right, before we go to the build, I got to tell you, hit like, hit subscribe, all that good stuff. On to the build. All right, I'm going to try a different angle today. See if we can uh, watch me a little bit easier. First thing we need to do is measure out some wire. We're going to go with about, eh, let's go nine inches or so of this 030. And it starts there, it goes, and we're going to go 10 inches actually. That'll give us some, uh, wiggle worm room. First one I made was a little bit tight as far as everything goes. All right, so that's one piece. The next one has to be about twice as long. So we need to go 12 Eight, that's 20. Now we'll just turn that off. All right, so next I gotta just straighten this out a little bit. It's obviously been coiled. That's the nice thing I like about the uh, American fishing wire. It straightens out decently. And sometime I'm gonna make a uh, wire straightener. That'd be fun. Well, maybe not fun, but functional. <laughs> I put the fun in functional. I'm sorry, guys. I'll be here all weekend. Tip your weight staff. So what we got is 20-inch piece, 10-inch piece of the O3O. Um, I got some swivels with the uh, little crimp, not crimps. What am I trying to say here? Clips, duh. Gonna use a half ounce weight. There we go. All right, so first thing, gotta make a loop at the end of this. Doesn't have to be huge. And so I'm gonna take about an inch and a half there, bend it over. fairly tight. Wrap around. You're in there, in there. So that's what we got. I'm just go wrap it a couple times. Now if you have seen my double arm or my triple arm uh, spinner bait or the Radner rig you know where this is probably heading. So this is going to be the, what I would call the main arm. Let's get that straightened out a little bit better. There we go. So this one here, we need to measure out 10 inches so we find the midpoint. And when I do this, I want to do a fairly small bend. So I'm going to go down towards the end of my round nose pliers and make that bend there. Now I'm going to kind of crunch it down like so. So this is where we're at. We're at. There we go. Now I need to take these, my needle nose pliers, and just make a small 90 degree bend here. Now I'm going to go down here. It's a little bit beefier. I also have to make sure you stay perpendicular. Okay, so that's the first bend we need to make. And then we make a second bend. So it looks like this. So far, so good. Take your single arm. We're going to 
whoops, it was too crossed. I'm gonna hook this on here like this, bring it down some, and then bring these two back up and under. Okay, slide this down. And voila. Now what we need to do is bend this so we have it all together. And sorry, I'm trying to look around the tripod here. What I'm gonna do is just gonna bend it with this. There we go. So this is where we're at. We got the three in here. Try to tighten that up a little bit more. Okay, so here is where the uh, main arm loop is. Comes down through, and now we have the three arms. Take my half ounce weight, slide it up there, go as far as I can. And now it's just a simple task of bending these out into that. Hmm, that turned out actually pretty good. All right, so now it doesn't have to be perpendicular like that. It can kind of be smashed back. There we go. So this is what I have so far. Um, I think I'm going to go about right here. So let's see how long that is. We're going to go with five inches. And I will put my round nose right on there and make a uh, loop at this end. Take one of my Swivel, swivels with a, a uh, clasp. Just slide that right up there. There we go. We'll do two wraps, about a wrap and a half. Ooh, look at this guy, he's really bent. There we go. So now we just have to do that two more times. Over. Now, do me a favor. In the comments, I didn't paint this because um, I have no idea what kind of baits I'm going to run on it, so I wasn't sure if that really mattered. Let me know if you think it matters or not. In the future, I'll just uh, powder paint that weight before I put it on there. But I have no clue. I've never, I've only fished with an Alabama rig like once or twice, and it was a big umbrella style, and I didn't catch anything. So next clip's on. We'll go around to the bottom of it like we did the other one. And when you do your um, loops, you always want to go perpendicular to the loop itself, the plane of the loop. That way you can get your uh, cutters a lot closer. All right, one more. There we go. Pinch right there. And 
actually, I like the fact that I made the arms longer than I needed because it's a lot easier to uh, wrap that loop when you have longer. It gives you a little bit more uh, leverage. Bring that perpendicular. There you pretty much have it. I'm um, gonna put a clip up here to tie to, and then my baits of choice down here. This is the one I made yesterday. This is not the first time I made one, it's the second time. But as you can see, I got those dangling. My line tie is this clip up top. And there you have it, a three-arm Alabama rig. In Ohio, we're only allowed to have three hooks. So that's why I came up with this, not came up with it, but decided to build it. Obviously, there's other three-arm umbrella rigs out there. So, um, but yeah, this, it turns out pretty cool. Now I just, and this one here, I got to do a little tweaking on the bends and such, but I might even give it a try today. Um, if you don't see any fishing in this video, know that it, I didn't catch anything. I tried, but I didn't. Or you might see some fish. Who knows? So there you have it. Um, did go fishing, didn't catch anything on the uh, Alabama rig. I saw some big bass on beds, but I left them alone. Did take my fly rod, caught a crap ton of bluegill. So that was a lot of fun. So as always, if you like videos like this, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until the next time, tight lines.